Hey everyone, it's Grandma Jackie, and I'm back with a DIY video again. <laughs> Gotta try again. This is the fourth attempt at it. This probably won't happen either, as you can see from the background noise already. Um, Lila's still here, and I just want to show you what I was working on earlier because I've been trying to work on stuff at the same time. But I got um, two evergreen wreaths at my favorite thrift store that I've already hauled. They were a dollar. And then I put, I just fluffed them and I put the Dollar Tree ribbon on it. Um, the red velvet one. And I, I'm just going to hang this somewhere in the house. I have two of them. So they are um, a match. So I just already hung one in the kitchen just to see what it looked like off the cabinet. But yeah, $2 and there's your wreath right there. Plain and simple. You can add whatever you wanted to it, but I'm not going to add anything. Um, the three trees that I got from the Dollar Tree that I wanted to do, Lila, that I wanted to do, um, like around my door frame. Um, okay. So what I have got so far with it is I started working on it. Um, and I'll show you on the back. The one tree is going this way, that would be at the top of the door, and then down the door frame is this one, and they are just put together. Here's one tree, here's the other tree, so I flipped them around and put them together. Then I've already added some mesh, like I just did like a poof me method with the mesh, and then a little bit of ribbon, and I didn't want the ribbon very long this time. I usually do it at like a 12 inch like this but this time I did it eight I probably should have did a little little bit bigger but I didn't and um, so I'll probably have to put just a few embellishments in there just to give it a try so this one will have to go like on the left side of the door frame and the next one I'll have to like mirror it so I've got the things over there for it like I've already cut the ribbon and got them all sitting over there ready but um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a bow to put, to hang in the center of it to kind of have the ribbons cascade down, if you will. So yeah, that's, that's how I did it. I had to wash that Laura Jean's wreath room again because she had done it and she used all Dollar Tree items, but I couldn't find all Dollar Tree items. Like, um... The mesh that I have is not the Christmassy looking mesh. So I have like Halloween and other stuff like that. So this mesh was from the dollar, or do, not dollar store, Hobby Lobby. And it was $5. So, and I only used a piece of a roll. So there's that. And I'm going to take this and make a bow. And then I'll have to turn around and mirror that side, which is kind of hard sometimes. So I am going to head and put you down. Hopefully I can do this. Let's touch the microphone. Most of the time, whenever I touch the microphone, it messes it up. So hopefully I have sound at the end of this thing. Okay, so these are the ribbons that I used in it already. So I want to make sure I use these in the bow. But I'm gonna also going to add ribbon because I need a wider ribbon for like the base of it. So I don't know, I've got two to choose from. I can choose from this, here I'll just put these all together so we can see them, see which one goes where. Um, so I could do the polka dot, which kind of goes with it, or I also have this one, which is kind of different but the same. See it has the same edges to it as this one does. So I'm not entirely sure which one I like better. I'm trying to figure that out. But one of these two needs to be the base ribbon. So I'm thinking <clears throat> get that microphone out of the picture. You guys can't even you won't be able to hear me either. Oh, let's see, let's see. Which one? I can't think. 
this also has the little thing for the outside. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about this one. I'm thinking more that one. Stay with kind of the same pattern, maybe. Maybe like that, but I don't know. Do I want the red? This is how, I, this is where I have problems. Do I want the red, then the green, then the red and white? And then the cream and the red, or hmm. <laughs> or do I even want this one? I don't know. <sighs> let me see, let me see. I, yeah, I think that's just what I'm going to do. I don't want to go too difficult on it. Um, because it's going to have to match exactly on the other one. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's the order that I'm going to try to get them put in. And we shall see. Um, I don't have very much of the one, so we're going to have to try to make it work. So this is just what I do as I put it. I got ribbons everywhere. I wish I could work in the shed, but it's too cold out there. Okay. Um, I don't really know. I don't want to make I don't want it too long. All right. Because this needs to be my tail. I guess I could cut it off. Where did he take her? <laughs> what did he do with the baby? Oh my goodness. So I'm twisting as I'm going down. And this is going to be my tail. And I'm pulling out my ribbon. And I don't know. I don't want a very big... Maybe at five inches. Probably go five inches. So I just kind of put it up there at the five inch mark and then twist again. I always straighten them out right here. And then we're going to do it again. We're going to go to the five. Go down. I'm going to do four for the base ribbon because I feel like it really needs have that backing put it that way so I'm gonna put one up here and we'll put one down here I know I'm a hot mess you guys but this is how I do it <laughs> I'm trying to listen to see what what they're up to at the same time because he's trying to keep her busy for me he knows I've started this video several times today. And she's really good until she hears me start it and then she starts screaming and carrying on and not necessarily screaming for any reason, but just screaming. Attention seeking. Okay. So I'm just kind of measuring it out, I reckon. My scissors over here. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, she's back. What? You got a wookie? Oh, you got a wookie? <clears throat> Wookies. Watch me get wookie on my bow. I'm going to get a wookie on my bow. Probably so. Probably going to get a wookie on my bow. So, anyways, <laughs> all right, so there's that one. This ribbon here was from Sam's. I love getting ribbon from Sam's. It's such a good deal. It was, it's a two and a half inch wide ribbon, but it's 50 yards. And gosh, I don't know. I can't even remember what the price is, but they're usually a pretty good price. 
Hey, do that. Mm -hmm. You're you're probably gonna have to get down because Grandma can't do this. I'm not holding you. Yeah, I know. It's horrible. It's horrible. But you're gonna have to get down. Okay. Nick. Ooh. Ooh. You get that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you get down for a minute? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. You're okay. You're okay. Why can't you play? Why can't you play? Hey, what do you want? Grandpa wants you. Come on. What do you want? You want? You want something? That's all right. Okay. Be fine. I'm just going to eyeball everything. Right yeah. Now. This ribbon is going to be hard to work with because, and see, I did five here, so I want to go smaller than the five. I don't know. Maybe four and a half, maybe not quite four and a half. I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing. That is exactly what she's been doing to me every time I start the video. Okay. I don't think I want that much green in it. I didn't have very much green. There's a lot of green in the evergreen itself, so I think I'm just going to do the two on this one with the green. Let's do the two with the green. And again, I'm going to do this the opposite way. Some of my bows I make, I have them all cascade down. I'm not sure how I'm doing this one. <laughs> Bear with me because when I create, I do it last minute. And sometimes I'll change it after that. I'll be like, ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Do I want this one? On top of that. Or this one. Ooh. This one doesn't have very much. I hope I have enough to go around at once. Might have to do that towards the end. So I'll probably have to do this one. This ribbon here was from Walmart for $2.48. There's only 15 foot in here, so same, same. So this one I kind of want four. If I can get it out of there, maybe four um, loops. Maybe, maybe. Go down, go down, go down. Um, I just want to kind of stagger it a little bit. I hope you can see that. This way. It takes me forever. See, I was just going to do um, a video doing the whole thing, but there is no way. You guys would lose interest after about 45 minutes. I lose interest after about 45 minutes. I gotta walk away from it. I'm like, okay. Especially, you know, with Lila here. It doesn't... It doesn't get very productive sometimes. But she just likes to hang out with Grandma is what it is. Right now, Grandpa's keeping her busy doing something. Hopefully not feeding her a bunch of junk. Hopefully not. <laughs> and then go again. You can always cut long and then trim it up, which is what I'm gonna do, I hope. I'm going to do a red pipe cleaner or a white one. I have them both in here just in case. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, I really want this on the outside to do the outside loop. I don't know. Here, let me see. This I also got at Walmart. It was $1.98 and it only had 12 foot of ribbon on it. But I got two. So that makes a big old difference. This one. I only want 
one bow on each side. See, the hard part for me is going to be mirroring, mirroring the other side. That's kind of difficult sometimes. And I will, a lot of time, I'll make all my tails go one way. This one, I don't know why I'm doing it this way. Honestly. And see, as your easy bow maker gets used so much, it unsqueezes in the middle. Oh, please be enough for one. One bow. Just one bow. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Actually, I want three bows. I can do it. I can do one more. I can do one more. at all this would have been from Hobby Lobby it would have been five bucks it's gone it's gone it's gone it's gone okay I think I'm gonna do white do white I'm gonna do this with with it just kind of doesn't have to be perfect I'll just kind of bend it over see if my, my bow making skills will not fail me now because I don't want to lose my stack okay so what I do I take my fingers like this and I grab underneath the bow underneath the bow can you see my finger you can't see my fingers Ugh, I can't move it either <laughs> okay and pinch and then I take these and have them hold them down here and then when I pull the bow up, I'll take this finger and place it on the other side. And I got my thumb right in the middle. And then I got this finger on the other side of the bow. And the other finger's over here. Pulling it up. Keeping it in a stack. Pinching it. As tight as it'll go. And then I'm twisting the bow. Hold my thingy and twist the bow. There you go. And then I just hold it like, I'll probably have to take this up a little bit. I hold it like this with my fingers and fluff, fluff away, fluffer, fluff away. Okay, start at the back. Just kind of fluff it out, put my fingers in here, make sure I'm doing, fluff in there, find the one on the other side. On the opposite down below. Get in there. Fluff that one away. Then I'll go over here. Fluff this baby. Go back and fluff this one. Then there's another one down here. Fluff this one. That's kind of what I do. You just go back and forth. Fluff here. Fluff there. Fluff everywhere. Then the next one on top was the green, and I'll take the green in between. So we get the two on the bottom, and I'll take the green in between. That's how I do it. Don't worry about your tails. Your tails, you're going to take care of them later. Um, so come over here. Come over here. And grab your green. And fluff in between the two red. Oh, I can't see it in between the two red on both sides okay so we got that part fluffed now you got the easy part which is the little little ribbons it's hard to make sure you guys can see this but okay so your next set of ribbons is the snowflake one so I'm gonna take one fluff it up here take 
the other one, fluff it down here. Keep your green in between your reds up here. Those are getting in my way, so I'm just pulling them down. Then we'll take, where's that? This up here, up there, up there. On the other side of the green. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. Okay, so then you got your white. I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing. You got your white in here, so your white's just two loops. You can just go in between your two red, which is what I'm doing. And then on this one, remember we did three. This one, I'm just gonna go on this side of this white and on this side of this white right here and then this one right here is going to be the middle so i'll move my finger see how you see the pipe cleaner i'll move my finger and just go like that Ta -da! okay so I, when you actually put it down put it down here it looks like a mumbo jumbo mess i'll show you just spread out and never be afraid to fluff and stuff because that's what I do just keep going back and forth so you get these these where you want them at I do want this like this I want the tails to be opposite each other and I, I always wait to do that until after I lay it flat so I fluffed my my loops first and then I do my tails opposite each other whenever I lay it down, whenever I'm doing this kind of bow. Now the other one, whenever I'm doing all the tails down at the end, I'll still have a hold of my bow in my hand and I'll pull the tails down. But okay, you guys can see what I'm doing, I think. <laughs> Hopefully y'all don't think I'm too crazy. So see, we got this red, they're opposite of each other. Then you got this green. They are opposite of each other. This is a type of bow too that you could do if you put it on a present, like on flat on top of a present. This makes a perfect bow to do that with. So, anyways, this is this is what I'm going to do with this. I am going to attach it. Um, probably not on video because we're already too long again. Like, I will be attaching it. Mark this up a little bit so you can see me. Okay. Right in here is my center. So you see where that is? There's my center and I'm gonna attach this bow in here towards the center, like so. And then I'll have to mess with the tails. You see how that, you know, cut the tails down, like that big white one sticking up at the top. It won't be that long, like I'll have to. And I will show you guys the end product on another video um, but for now, thank you very much for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I helped you make a bow. Don't be scared. Don't be scared to mess with it and make it. And the more you make it, the funner it is and the better you get. I mean, this is not a perfect bow by any means, but it's good enough for me. <laughs> so, um, please stay safe, take care of yourself, and I will catch you later.